and girls, it's great to be with you again. Today I have a fun and exciting drawing lesson for you. We are going to draw some shapes and I'm going to introduce you to fractions and how to start drawing this volcano from one of the shapes. So get ready for loads of fun and great learning. I want you to grab a piece of white paper like this on both sides, there's nothing on your paper, and a pencil. First we are going to fold the paper in half, get corner to corner, like this, and then fold it up again. We are first going to draw a line down the folds on our paper. Lines aren't very straight, but it doesn't have to be straight. Just get your lines. We are making some boxes. Then I want you to number your boxes. Like this is box one, box two, box three, and box four. Remember, I am using a marker and you are using a pencil in case you need to erase something. So, in box one, we are going to draw a circle. Now, I want you to divide this circle in half. That means you have one on the top and one on the bottom, in half. Then we're going to go right here at the very top and we're going to draw a line right down the center. Let's count how many parts there are. This is one, two, three, four. So I want you to put a number four here and draw a line. Now we are going to shade one of these parts. So let's shade this one right here. Shade in with your pencil. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see the shade in. So what fraction of this circle is shaded? Let's count. One. There's only one that is shaded. So put a one here. So the fraction that is shaded in this circle is one fourth. One fourth of this circle is shaded. Let's go to box number two. Draw a square. Now remember a square has four equal sides. We're going to divide this square into half. So let's try to find the middle here. Go straight across. Then let's find the middle up here. I'm going to put a little dot here. I think that's pretty good. That's the middle to me. And I'm going to go on this dot and I'm going to draw a line straight down. Let's count how many parts we have in the square. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to come down here, put a four, draw a line. This four means there are four parts. Now I want you to shade this square, this part, or square, because it is square, this part, and this part over here. Now what fraction of this square is shaded? Let's count, boys and girls. Count with me. One, two, three. Three of those parts are shaded. So that equals three-fourths of the square is shaded. Now, boys and girls, go to box three. We are going to draw a rectangle. A rectangle has two equal sides. There's my rectangle. Now, we are going to divide this rectangle in half right here. On the top, I want you to try to find the center. I'm going to put a little dot there. From this dot, I'm going to draw a line down the center here. Then I'm going to divide this part into half, right about there. See the dot there? Halfway between this line here. Draw the line down. Come over here, put a dot in the center of that line, from here to here, 
find the center of that line and then draw a line down to the bottom. Let's count how many parts we have in this rectangle. Let's start right here. Count with me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Write eight right here and draw a line because there are eight parts in this rectangle. Now, boys and girls, come over here to this part and I want you to shade it in. And let's skip on over here and then come down to this one, this part right here and shade this in. Let's count how many parts are shaded in this rectangle. Count with me, please. One, two. So put the two on top of the eight. So two eighths of this rectangle are shaded. Two eighths of this rectangle is shaded. Over here now in box four, we are going to draw a triangle. And try to get all of your three sides. Triangle has three sides. Try to get them all about the same length. And I know it's hard because we don't have a ruler, but do the best you can. And remember to be having fun while you're drawing. Because if you're having fun, you are learning and you're going to retain all this. So here we have a triangle with three sides. I want you to put your pencil right at the very top. Put a stop there, you can't see it too well. But put your pencil on it and we're going to come straight down and divide, ooh, straight down and divide this triangle. Oh, try and do the best I can. It's very hard for me to do it standing up. It's easier if you're at a desk and placing your pencil down and drawing like you guys are. But this is fine. I'm really enjoying myself because I want you boys and girls to learn this. So. Let's shade the side that I have made the mistake on. We're going to shade because you can always fix your mistakes. So never fret about mistakes, boys and girls. Just make it work. Let's count how many parts there are in this triangle. There's one, two. Put down the two. Draw your line. And how many parts of this triangle are shaded? And it's one. One part of the triangle is shaded, so one half of our triangle is shaded. Boys and girls, I want you to now turn your paper over. I have already turned mine over. Now draw your lines down the fold and number your boxes. This box will be box number five because we had one, two, three, and four on the other side. Then we have box six, box seven, and box eight. Okay? In box five, boys and girls, I want you to draw a rectangle again. And keep it up toward the top. The rectangle has two equal sides. These two sides are equal, or it could be these two sides are equal. Find the middle of this long top line. And I think it's there. But get as close as you can. Draw a line going down. Now we're going to divide this line in half. About there. Draw a line going down. Come over here to this part of the line. And I'm going to put a circle there. And I'm going to draw a line down. So those dots are to help show you where I am starting my line to go down. Let's count how many parts we have in this rectangle that we have just divided. Let's count. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So I want you to come over here to the left side of your paper, write the number four and draw a line above it. Now we're going to shade. Let's shade this part. Shade this part. This part. And this part! Wow! Let's count how many 
many parts are shaded, boys and girls? Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Put a four above the line. Four fourths are shaded. Or we can say one whole. Four fourths or one whole. This is what we see up here with this rectangle. Let's go to box number six. Draw a circle, please. There's our circle. We are going to divide it in half. Now I'm going to come here to the very top, make a circle there. I'm going to put my pencil there and I'm going to draw a line going down. Let's count how many parts I have divided this circle into. Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Put your four here. Draw a line above it. Now let's shade the side right there and this part right here. Now let's count how many parts are shaded. One, two, two parts. And look at that, boys and girls. If you're looking at the black and the white, you could also say it's one half. One half of the circle is black and the other half is white. Boys and girls, now go to box number seven. We are going to draw a shape that kind of reminds me of a volcano. So just do the best you can and have fun, fun, fun. Here we go. All right, we're kind of at the top of box seven. I want you to draw a line right here. Make a line coming out to the side like this. Does it kind of look like a volcano top? And here's the bottom. Now, what I want you to do is right here, I'm gonna put a circle. I want to divide this line down here, right in the center. So I'm gonna put a circle right here. And I have a circle right there. So I am going to put my pencil on that circle and draw a line from that circle to this circle down here below. And go up here to this corner, draw a line from that corner to that circle down below. Boys and girls, what other shape do you see in this shape? Did you see triangles? Yes, see there are triangles. These two are pointed up and this one's pointed down. Now I have noticed on several math tests that I give the kids that they're trying to trick you out there. So they have this shape and they say, what shape's inside there? So boys and girls, that's why I'm doing this. I want you to physically draw this out and really take a good look at what we have here. Let's see how many parts we have. We are gonna count the parts. One, two, three. There are three parts. And let's shade this little cutie right here in the middle. How many parts are shaded? And count with me, one. One third of this shape which I call the volcano shape because it reminds me of volcano. One third of this shape is shaded. So we're gonna go over here to box number eight. We're gonna try this again. Practice makes perfect. So we're gonna draw that line at the top again, like the top of volcano. Draw a line on the side, the side of the volcano. And then draw a line across. Right here on this bottom line, I'm gonna put, try to divide it right in the middle, I'm gonna put a dot here. We're gonna go up to this corner up here, put your pencil up here, boys and girls. Draw a line from that corner to the dot. Go to this corner right here. Draw a line from that corner to the dot. And there are the three triangles. One, two, three. Put that three down. Draw your line. Now I want you to shape the triangle on the left here and the triangle on the right. So 
boys and girls, how many parts of this shape are shaded? Two, two parts, one, two. So two thirds of this shape is shaded. And here, my volcano. And here's the smoke coming out of the top of the volcano. Boys and girls, you were wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. And have fun with your math. Bye! Parents and teachers, if you need a generic math or English language arts teacher's manual for grades K through third that motivates struggling learners, English language learners, all the way to gifted children to focus and learn in a fun, exciting way, visit www.sbcrevitalize.com. And thank you for watching.